do you build that? How do leaders build that culture of learning within their organizations? One, making sure that top down, that people understand that is the goal and to show people, you know, every day through top down, you know, kind of mentoring, you know, why that's important. And, um, you know, for us, a, a lot of, you know, Cisco's a, a company with a lot of healthy paranoia. We're always thinking about who's our next competitor? How is Cisco going to get trumped in the market? We, you know, we're always trying to outthink everything that's going on around us because we're in a hyper competitive space. And likewise, we have customers who, who are thinking the same thing about their spaces. So by just communicating to people that, hey, nothing, nothing that is here today can be guaranteed in the future. You need to be able to constantly be thinking differently about that and, and looking outside of yourself, looking outside of your organization for information that's going to show you what's actually happening out there, right? Mm -hmm. And so that, doing lots of benchmarking, doing lots of thinking through the what ifs and what the cans are instead of what the cannots are, you know, just thinking about more possibility oriented versus um, what are all the problems, you know, that is something that I think comes with top down kind of leadership. You really need to have uh, an environment that supports that. I will say that you can develop that in pockets though. It doesn't always have to be the CEO on down. Sometimes you can take a group with a great leader and start it there. And then what you find is that if you can build it in a pocket of the organization, then you can have that leader show everybody else how they did it and then sometimes you can merge it up. So it can happen, you know, sort of bottoms down instead of tops down, but it's always better if you have a leader out in front saying what if.